I didn't ever think that I would see the day on YouTube that we would be seeing a Will Smith apology video. Like, apology videos are rampant on YouTube. We're used to this. Like, we've seen a million YouTubers apologize. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. I am so sorry. I am so unbelievably sorry. I'm sorry. They're, they're fairly frequent, but just putting myself in the headspace that I'm watching a Will Smith apology for him being physically violent on TV, 100% we're in a simulation. We're already in the matrix. This is the metaverse, isn't it? You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's hot. That's hot. I can see his thumbnail here it says, It's been a minute. And it's also titled the same thing. I'm interested to see, like, does he, who's he apologizing to? Is he just, he's apologizing to the public? Is this, like, something that's addressed to Chris Rock? I feel like he's probably the only one who needs the apology, but you know what, dude? It's tea. It's hot, gossipy tea, and I'm gonna fucking sip this shit. It's been a minute. Over the last few months, I've been doing a lot of thinking and personal work. Mm -hmm. You asked a lot of fair questions that I wanted to take some time to answer. Oh, and then he just breathes heavily into my, straight into my eardrums. Just having the, the headset on, it was just a little too intimate. Why does it sound like that? It's gross, <laughs> it's fucking disgusting. I got a feeling this is going to be one of the least sincere scripted apologies that I've ever seen. We are watching like an A-list celebrity actor pull off something that he's probably been rehearsing for the past couple of months. It's multiple camera angles. The dramatic text in the beginning, like we're watching a fucking intervention episode, goes from blurry, he walks in from off frame, he sits down, he has the sigh of relief. This is a lot. He hasn't, it hasn't even started, it's a lot. Why didn't you apologize to Chris in your acceptance speech? I was fogged out by that point. It's, 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 it's all fuzzy. I've reached out to Chris, um, and the, mes the message that came back is that uh, he's not ready to talk, and when he is, he will reach out. Um, I, will, I will say to you, uh, Chris, I apologize to you. Uh, my behavior was unacceptable, and I'm here whenever you're ready to talk. Dude, like, he probably doesn't want to talk about this anymore. All I can say is I'm just glad there's not a product placement. Oh. Ha, <laughs> never mind. It's fucking literally Jaden's water advertised. I don't know <laughs> how to explain what that is other than it's just water. It's boxed water. Also, that poster in the background, the world is sick. Love is the cure. It's kind of taking some tension off of himself, isn't it? Like, like it's not me. I didn't fuck up. The world is fucked up, and I'm just a symptom. <laughs> this is this the third camera? How many cameras does it take, dude? This thing has a hundred thousand dollar budget. Like he, he does, he does this shit, right? Like all of his movies are the biggest movies ever. His Instagram videos are edited by people who are doing insane effects. It's like he can never just do something humbly and sincerely on like a like a independent level. It's always got to be so fucking extra. Also, I got to say, what a huge missed opportunity to not start this video with. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I... <laughs> or at the very least, like him walking in off screen it's like it's been a minute and then he sit he like walks in he sits down and goes ah, ah, it's, it's rewind. rewind time and then he just rewinds time to before the slap ever happened i'm just saying with the budget like he definitely has he could make you know he could let's go big dude 
All right, don't spend tons of money to make it look like you spent none. That doesn't make any fucking sense. I, I want to apologize to Chris's mother. I saw an interview that Chris's mother did. It was one of the things about that moment I just didn't realize, and you know, I wasn't thinking, but how many people got hurt in that moment. So I want to uh, apologize to Chris's mother. I want to apologize to uh, Chris's family, specifically Tony Rock. You know, we had a great relationship. Tony Rock was my man. Um, and uh, this, this, is, this is probably irreparable. Yeah, I mean, I'd say so. I'd say it's not a good look, dude. You bitch slapped his brother in front of millions of people on TV for literally no fucking good reason. <laughs> so... Yeah, Tony Rock's probably not stoked. I spent the last three months um, replaying and understanding the nuances and, and the complexities of what happened in, in that moment. Was it really that nuanced? Was it that complex? He said something you didn't like. Well, actually, it seems like he said something that your wife didn't like. You laughed, and then you, like, looked over, and you're like, oh, shit, she's not laughing. And then you physically hit a guy. You, you, you exhibited some asshole behavior, right? Like, I'm not saying that Will Smith is a terrible guy. I don't really know a whole lot. I hear these rumors about them being Scientologists and shit, and, like, I don't, I don't know if that's true. You should probably look into that, but you've spent your entire life building yourself up as, like, a role model for children and being like, haha, I don't even have to swear when I make rap. Take that, rappers. And then you do this shit. And it's like, well, that's exactly why you should never be a self proclaimed role model. That'd be a fucking disaster. I don't, I would never want that kind of responsibility. I say to all my fans out there, um, I never killed nobody in none of my records. I don't use no profanity in none of my records. And still, I managed to get up here. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Say to all of you, there is no part of me that thinks that was the right way to behave in that moment. There's no part of me that thinks that's the optimal way to handle a feeling of disrespect or, or insults. That's probably true. There was nothing about what he did that was like a well thought out, maniacal, Machiavellian, like evil thing. He just, he spazzed, dude. Chris Rock got him to spaz like a fucking child. And we've all spazzed. We've all done it. So, like, I understand that. After Jada rolled her eyes, did she tell you to do something? No. Um, it's like, you know, I'm, I made a choice on my own, from my own experiences, from my history with Chris. Jada had nothing to do with it. Except she had, a, like, a, like, indirectly, though, for sure, right? Like, you can't say she had nothing to do with it. It was a statement about her. You had been kind of clowned on for years for being, like, a quote-unquote cuck and getting fucked over in the relationship, so... I don't even know if it, I don't even know if you can say that she had nothing to do with it. She was sort of like a huge factor in in the entire thing. Also, like, what do you, what 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 experiences do you have with Curtis? Am I does anybody know anything about this? Like, does Will Smith have like really bad blood with Chris Rock? Is Chris like constantly doing shit to like fuck with Will Smith? Jada had nothing to do with it. Uh, I'm sorry, babe. Um and say sorry to my, my kids and, and my family. Um, to all my fellow nominees, you know, this is a community. It's like I won because you, you voted for me. And it, it, it really breaks my heart to have stolen and, and tarnished, tarnished your moment. Um, I can still see Quest Love's eyes. You know, it, it happened on Quest Love's uh, award and it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry really isn't sufficient. It's interesting to me. Every time he's talking about Chris Rock, he's like, I want to apologize. But anytime Jada Smith is mentioned, he straight up says sorry. 
I don't know if I'm reading into it too much or if that's like a subliminal, like subconscious type thing that he's doing where it's like he can't bring himself to utter the word sorry to Chris because maybe, honestly, maybe he's not sorry that he hit Chris. Maybe he's just sorry that he ruined his own self-image. It's like, I can see the look in Questlove's eyes. Like, what about Chris Rock? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the one person who deserves the apology more than anybody else. What would you say to the people who looked up to you before the slap or people who expressed that you let them down? Um, so there's two things. One, um, disappointing people is my central trauma. Um, I... That's some real therapy talk right there, isn't it? hate when I let people down. That's so unique and different. Yeah, obviously, everybody hates letting people down. That's not like a unique personality trait of yours. Um, so it, it hurts. Uh, it hurts me psychologically and emotionally to know I didn't live up to uh, people's image and impression of me. The work I'm trying to do is I am deeply remorseful and I'm trying to be remorseful without being ashamed of myself, right? I'm human and I made a mistake and I'm trying not to think of myself as a piece of shit. Um, so I would say to those people, I know it was confusing. I know it was shocking, but I, I promise you I am deeply devoted and committed to putting light and love and joy into the world. And if you, if you hang on, I promise we'll be able to be friends again. You, you were never friends. You were never friends with Will Smith, okay? <laughs> let's, let's check in on the uh, comment section because Will Smith was actually brave enough in this scenario to leave the comments on, so I can't believe Will was able to nearly perfectly pull off the YouTuber apology video after only four months of training. This apology is as moving as the movie Morbius. Truly, a thing that exists. Man, how does <laughs> Morbius memes make its way into literally every fucking aspect of life? It's a shame the apology video didn't start off with, God damn it, I fucking, I said that joke. Obviously, <laughs> obviously that's not an original joke. <sighs> I'm such a fucking hack. Let's just look this up real quick. Because <laughs> like, I don't know, I, I don't know if this is true, I've never looked into it, but there's been like a lot of rumblings about Will Smith or the, the Smith family being Scientologists. So... Here, Red Table Talk, Jada Pinkett Smith explains her connection to Scientology. So yeah, there, I mean, there's gotta be a connection. Like this couldn't have just formed out of the blue. People didn't just make it up for no fucking reason. For years, it's been rumored that I was a Scientologist because I took some courses at the church and was interested in study tech, one of the organization's teaching methods. I also opened a school that used the study tech, which added to the speculation. You saw me at the Scientology Center. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not a Scientologist. I just do, I just implemented an entire school that it like revolves around it. God, guys, how could you, how could you possibly get that mixed up? I love religion because I grew up in the ethical society. Yeah. So my grandmother was like, "You're gonna learn all the religions, and then you got." I get being respectful toward all religions. But you know what? I'm going to say Scientology is in fact a dumb one. <laughs> this is going to be my last video, isn't it? For some reason, for some mysterious reason, my brakes aren't going to work <laughs> tomorrow on my way to work. You got to decide which one. Yeah. You want to practice. Love that. So for me, yeah. all religions have been my home. Sure. Which is why I didn't have a problem going to the Church of Scientology and saying, I'm not a Scientologist. I want to just be here and see what you have to offer. I'm just going to end that there. I think I've made up my mind on uh, the whole Smith family at this point. And as far as the apology video, pretty fucking lackluster. Probably didn't need three cameras, a fucking microphone, and like a, a set. What else are you going to do when you're the king of social media? 
like Will Smith. You know?